Hi there. In the last video, we saw the bifurcation of ABC Limited's budget across various channels. Let's move ahead and have a look at the inbound marketing expense. Inbound marketing is a great source to generate highly qualified or what we call marketing qualified leads. In this day where we can generate leads by the dozen, we always face a challenge that when we pass on a lead to our sales team, they always complain about quality, intent. So inbound allows you to identify the leads within your system that we call a marketing qualified lead. A marketing qualified lead is one who the sales team are happy to work on and actually convert them into a sales qualified lead. And these sales qualified leads are the ones that are most likely to actually convert into customers for your business. Let's dive a bit deeper into the different elements or the different kind of expenses that you could expect to incur when it comes to your inbound marketing expenses. We'll take it one by one. First thing to do is to actually create a 12 month marketing plan. This will set the roadmap and the guideline that you need to be working towards to achieve your overall goals. Your buyer persona, who is your customer? And more importantly, who is not your customer? If you know this, you can run targeted communication that actually solves the challenges your customer is facing in their life on a day to day basis. Landing pages. Where does your customer land when they've interacted with any of your content or any of your ads? This landing page will actually give them all the in enough information to actually take an action, whether it is to subscribe, whether it is to fill out a form or even to schedule a call with your sales team if they're really interested in what you have to offer. CTAs, that is call to actions. I already discussed that in landing pages in terms of what are the actions you want your prospects to take. Email nurturing. Rome wasn't built in a day. Customers don't convert in a day either. You need to nurture them. You need to handhold them. You need to share a series of information that allows them to progress from one step to the other. Email nurturing is a great tool that allows you to do that. Survey forms also allows you to constantly engage and understand your customers better. This completes only one half of the activities that you need to be doing. Contact lists, uh, as it says, is your database of customers, prospects that you are looking to reach. This is the heart of your inbound activities. Uh, if you have a good, well-segmented contact list, all of your activities actually run through a lot more smoother. Content marketing is actually very well linked to both email and landing pages. What is the kind of content that you want to provide to your customer that will actually help them take decisions, understand their problem better and on, in the process also understand your product or service better. SEO, search engine optimization. We've all heard about this. And this is what content marketing drives the most. The most important part to always realize is that at the end of a search engine, there's a human being. So today, SEO is just not about keywords, but it's actually about topics and topic clusters. And the content marketing efforts that you run really drive uh, your SEO rankings and a lot of improvement on that front. Social media strategy. Today we know that people love sharing their experiences, especially when they've had a bad experience with a product or service. The first place they go to is Twitter. And they go to social media to explore a variety of other of their interests. How are you prepared to be a part and to be visible on the various social media channels that are available? Blogging and videos, these are the essential formats uh, through which you will create content and uh, these are your vehicles to actually get your message across. Analytics and KPIs. This is the most important part. We're going to dive into this a bit deeper in, a, in the next segment. But this is where you're actually measuring ROI and seeing what you're doing, whether it's working for you or not. Reputation management. It links back to social media and uh, you want to know what people are talking about you, whether the sentiment is positive and whether people are seeing you in the right way. And lastly is your agency fees. You want somebody to actually be running this entire machine for you. If you don't have a team of your own, it's always great to have a 
capable uh, inbound certified agency on board that will help you actually run this and maintain this whole dashboard called inbound for you. In this, we saw how inbound marketing expenses are bifurcated for ABC Limited. Stay tuned with us. We are going to bring you more videos related to this topic.